What's going on bro, it's David here, and in this video I'm gonna give you five steps that any guy can take today to start getting more matches on Tinder and to start turning more of those matches into actual dates. Let's get started. Right now, if you're single and you want to be going on more dates, then you absolutely need to be using Tinder. Look, I have a girlfriend now, so I don't use it anymore. But back when I was single, I was able to easily schedule three to four dates per week just by using Tinder when I wanted to. And yes, I was probably going overboard, but you get the idea here. It's an extremely powerful tool. Anyway, let's get into number one, which is abundance mentality. When you're using Tinder, you have to adopt an abundance mentality. You have to realize that there's basically an endless supply of women using this app, so you cannot afford to get caught up on one single girl. And while the majority of the women on the app are actually looking for dates, you have to realize that there's a decent percentage of them who are just using it to get matches for their own validation and just to feel good about themselves. So whenever a girl does not reply to your first message, or whenever she stops replying to your messages, down the line, you have to move on, bro. Just keep swiping and let her go. Anyway, you guys know what it is. It's time for me to get started with my day. I'll give you number two in a minute. All right, bro, I'm walking to Target to buy the new GoPro Hero 6. And if you watch my channel, you know that I already have a little action cam that I use when I go jet skiing or surfing. But this new GoPro looks so dope, so I gotta get it. But let's keep the video going. Number two is to use a simple bio. And first of all, you gotta realize that your photos are way more important than your bio. But we'll get into that in the next step. And second of all, you have to realize that you have a lot more to lose than you do to gain by putting a lot of information in your bio. So if you do what most guys do, and they try and be really funny or clever, or they try and tell way too much information about themselves, you just have a much bigger chance of turning the girl off and making her think they're a little bit weird and then if she's unsure, she's just gonna swipe left. So instead, I recommend that you use something that's short, simple, tells a little bit about what you're passionate about, but still leaves room for curiosity. So for example, for the longest time, my bio was just fitness, travel, and other adventures. Again, it sort of piques their interest, but it doesn't say too much. But that being said, I also had no bio for a long time and also did very well. So do a little short bio and make it work for you. Let's go into Target and get this camera. So they only got the five here, but I swear online it says the six is in stock. Let's figure this out. And we got it. It was hiding in the back of the store. Let's take it home and give you number three. Anyway, enough about that. Number three is to take better photos. You need to realize that the most important thing on Tinder is your photos. Because when someone is using Tinder, they're looking to find attractive people. You're looking for attractive girls, and girls are looking for attractive guys. I literally cannot stress this enough. Your photos are gonna be the number one thing that dictates whether or not you're successful on Tinder. And right now, if you're thinking, David, I don't have the looks, I'm ugly, well, first of all, you need to realize that it is possible to improve your looks and become more attractive to women. In fact, I just released a free video training series that shows you a few key steps to take in the gym and with your style to achieve the exact look that has been proven to be what women find the most attractive. If you wanna get access to that now, just click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description. And beyond actually changing your appearance, another quick fix is just going out and taking higher quality photos. If you're like most guys, then you probably don't really enjoy taking photos of yourself, and because of that, you probably don't have a lot of good photos. So here's what I recommend. I recommend teaming up with a buddy of yours who's also single, and going out, you know, grabbing three or four outfits, and taking a few hours to take some good photos of each other. And if this seems corny or weird to you, you have to realize that if you're going to invest the time to use Tinder, then you might as well take these preliminary steps so that you get the most out of your effort and you actually get quality matches. And you don't need any fancy camera equipment to get this done. Just grab your iPhone, go outside, and find a cool looking location and snap some photos. And if you're looking for some ideas for some cool poses to use that are gonna make you look good, Check out my Instagram. I've really been stepping up my game lately and pretty much all my recent photos would be awesome Tinder photos. That all being said, I cannot contain my excitement, bro. Let's go get some dope footage with this and then after that, I'll give you number four, so keep watching.
So I just shipped out the old camera since selling that one on eBay was the only way for me to justify buying the new one. I hope that footage came out dope. There'll be a lot more of that in some upcoming videos, but let's keep this video focused. The fourth tip that I have for you is to keep it simple, and I'm talking about sending the opening message here. When you're sending that first message, keep in mind that your only goal should be to get a response. You're not trying to get her to laugh. You're not trying to get her to come over to your apartment already. You're just trying to get her to start a conversation with you. This is pretty much the same concept we were talking about with your bio. When you go overboard here and you try to be too clever or too funny, you just have a lot more to lose than you do to gain because there's a good chance that she's gonna perceive it as a little weird or creepy and then she's just not gonna respond. So here's my advice to you. Keep it extremely simple. Honestly, one message that I used to use all the time was, hey, Katie, how's your day going? And I know that seems so fucking basic, but it's gonna get you a response most of the time, and then you'll have a chance to work your magic, like we're gonna talk about in point number five. But first, let's find a cool spot to film around here. I'm actually at BU, my old alma mater, and then we'll make it happen. Alright guys, I am here walking alongside the Charles River, which is like the river that divides Boston in half. Anyway, we're going to wrap the video up now. The fifth and final thing I got for you is to close the deal. So at this point, you've set up a nice simple bio, you've taken some quality photos, you've got the right mentality that you know, you're not going to get stuck on one girl, and also, you've sent a simple first message and she replied to you. Good job, bro. The next step is to close the deal. Most guys do one of two things here. Either they rush into this too quickly, and then like the first or second message, they're like, you know, do you wanna come over, you wanna hang out? And most girls are not gonna be down for that. Some might be down, don't get me wrong, but most ain't gonna be down. And then the second thing the guys do, and I think this is actually more common, is that they start sending like 20 or 30 messages to the girl, and they become like her fucking pin pal and then it becomes really hard to break out of that dynamic and actually ask her out and meet up with her in person. So what you wanna do is sort of take a middle route, a middle passage, if you will. Shout out to Buddha. What the middle passage here is, is just to send like three or four messages each back and forth, just making some basic small talk and learning a little bit more about her. And then after that, before you've settled in to that lengthy conversation, go ahead, cut the shit and ask her out. And the way that you wanna do this, again, is very simple and straight up. What I used to say all the time was just, hey look, I'll cut the BS, I think you're really cute, do you wanna hang out and grab drinks sometime? And that works like fucking gangbusters, bro. But if you ain't 21, then just ask, do you wanna hang out sometime or do you wanna hang out and get ice cream sometime? No excuses. And then after that, just get her phone number and take the conversation onto text so you can set up the logistics for the date itself. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I promise you that if you apply those tips, you're easily gonna be able to set up as many dates as you want each and every week without putting in too much effort. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, you know what it is, bro. Make sure you click subscribe because I release videos just like this every Monday and every Thursday. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you in the next video. I better talk to you in the next video. I'm gonna be mad, bro. Stay beastly.